Like most metal on metal parts, especially with thread, we're going to add a lick of grease before we thread them in. At first, start the thread with your fingers just to make sure that you don't cross thread the chain tensioner. Once you've comfortably got the thread started, grab a hold of a 3mm allen key and thread the tensioner all the way through till it pops out of the dropout. Once we have the chain tensioners fitted to the frame and the wheel put back in, it's time to put your chain over your front sprocket and your rear driver. As you see here, threading the chain tensioner into the frame pushes the axle back or forth. This will create more tension on the chain or less, whichever you're looking for. With your chain tension roughly set up, you can use the chain tensioners to center your wheel. Doing one side up will pull the wheel to that side, same as the other, so it's important that your chain is at a good tension and your wheel's in the middle. With your chain tension set up and your wheel in the center, you can do your axle nuts up and you're ready to go.